Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dads Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking about San Antonio Spurs, y'all. They just had a big win against the Hornets. And it wasn't so much that they won against the Hornets, it's the way they won against the Hornets. Derek White is back. DeJounte Murray is still playing well. You put those two guys together, and you got a hell of a duo, man. A hell of a duo. I loved what I saw tonight. This is the future of the Spurs. Their backcourt is solidified. You just got to get some big men to help these guys out, help these young guys out against the better teams in the league. I'm very optimistic about what I saw tonight. Not just the fact that they won, but the way they won, the scoring, you know, the playing off each other. It was very good. Very good to see. Man, they were a dynamic duo, man. They were a better duo than Smokey and Craig. A better combination than Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Those boys were on fire tonight, man. And the future is bright for this team, I'm telling you. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, to start off this video, I just want to say, man, it's so good to see Derek White back. He actually looked like himself tonight. Not just, you know, before I even get to the scoring and the stat line, he just looked like he was a little bit quicker on his feet. Looked like he was a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident with his shot. He did miss like a three, like badly. Like he hit the side of the backboard, the other side of the backboard. So I thought it was going to be a long night for him. But then he turned it on. He kept being aggressive. He kept going to the basket. Okay. 25 points tonight. You know, um, uh, a few three pointers. Uh, no, actually four, four three pointers, I believe. 50% from three. 9 for 15 shooting, that's like 65%. One thing I love about Derek White is he's a natural scorer. He's a natural scorer, and it's easier for him to get his offense, his offensive sets going than a Murray. You get what I'm saying? Murray has to work a lot harder to get his points. With Derek White, it's just effortless. You get what I'm saying? That's why I feel like he's a two guard, and I'm glad that you know Pop is starting him at the two guard position. I feel like that's where he's comfortable i feel like that's where he can help this team out so i'm just so glad to see him back man you know his um efficiency he had four steals tonight man he looked great defensively as well man awesome man the, the future of the spurs is bright you get what i'm saying i was so impressed with Derek white tonight i'm not even gonna make any hairline jokes <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let him go tonight. I'll let him go tonight, man. Good job, Derek. No hard feelings, bro. Keep doing your thing. Hopefully, we get the consistency up for this season, and we're good to go. Moving on to my boy, Murray. You know I'm coming with this. 26 points, 12 rebounds, 2 steals, 6 assists. You get what I'm saying? Didn't shoot well from the 3-pointer, and that makes his night almost even more impressive because he did it the old-fashioned way. 2-pointers, no 3s and bunches, none of that. Got to the line 6 times, 6 free throws. Murray's game has evolved, man. He's even making better decisions with the ball. 0 turnovers tonight. Very impressed by that. You get what I'm saying? Um, if we could just keep this going, man, get these two guys going at the same time, we're going to be a hard team to beat. You get what I'm saying? And the defensive energy that they both have, it's contagious. Even Lonnie Walker was better defensively tonight. The team altogether was able to dig themselves out of that hole. They dug themselves in early in the game. They were tenacious. They were, you know, the second quarter was amazing. The second quarter was amazing. And it's because they were following the lead of these two young guns, these two young players. The backcourt is there, man. Of course, they had help from other players. That's how the Spurs do. Share the ball, play together. Also, you had um, DeMar DeRozan. Not a great scoring night tonight, but he did have nine assists. He needs more credit for being our leading assist man on this team. He has improved on that portion of his game. But I have to wonder if we get a couple more consistent, you know, nights like this from Murray and White. Does that make DeRozan expendable? Are we going to trade him for some bigs? You get what I'm saying? And that's a question I go back and forth on the channel. I'm not necessarily pushing for them to trade DeRozan. But at the same time, man, if Derek White is the Derek White, all the Derek White fans say he is, 
then that might make us put us in position to possibly make a move. And also, when you take in consideration that Vassell is on the bench, basically not being utilized when Derek White has it going, when Lonnie Walker has it going, you know, the night he only played seven minutes, only got one shot at the basket. When you consider that you have him in the wings and he has shown so much potential really to be our best defensive player and be a young stud for the Spurs. When you think about that, that makes it the Rosen trade idea even more appealing. And I'm not necessarily saying that that's what the Spurs need to do. I'm going to I'm emphasizing that again because I don't want the DeRozan fans to get on me because I feel like DeRozan does have that it factor that hasn't really been consistently replicated by anyone else on this team so you definitely need to look into keeping him on this squad as long as you can now if you can get him cheaper than max money that would be great but the elephant in the room with the rosen is he could just leave you get what i'm saying he could leave and we can end up with nothing now again we would have vassell obviously to back up you know if he does decide to leave the rosen but at the same time, if you got a commodity like that, an all-star talent like that, you definitely want to get some picks, at least maybe a player or two, something for him and don't just let him walk. OK, um, so when I think about all of that, Murray playing well, White looks like he's turning the corner. You know, Lonnie was good tonight. Then we got Vassell needing minutes to grow and get better, man. You know, that the Rosen Trey scenario makes more sense. And I hope I'm making sense. And I'm not trying to come across as a hater. If they keep the Rosen, I'll be satisfied with that. I'm not, you know, I'm not against it. But if they did try to shop him, I can't necessarily get mad at them because we do have some holes in the front line of this team. You get what I'm saying? And I was hoping maybe LMA would be you know that trade piece that can get us some younger talent but lma he's looking he's looking pretty old and injury prone these days if we're being honest so it looks like the best bargaining chip that the spurs have is going to be demar Derozan, unfortunately and he doesn't deserve that he's shooting better from three he's passing the ball better he's been our go-to guy in the fourth quarter but we just have to take a strong look at this especially if Murray and Derek White are playing like this, you get what I'm saying? If they consistently are, you know, 20 point scores, near 20 point scores, four steals, all this stuff like that, you really have to take a look at this, San Antonio. You definitely do. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know in the comment section if you think the emergence of the dynamic duo is going to affect the DeRozan situation. Let me know specifically what you think. I'm curious. You get what I'm saying? All opinions are welcome. Thanks for kicking it with me. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Don't forget that superhero playlist because we cover hoops and heroes. See, people be missing that. Hoops and heroes. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.